Hi, this is Mike Grady, and uh, today we're going to talk about some routines that you can implement at home. So uh, this presentation was built for routines for teams to do, so we may have to adjust this a little bit, but uh, this is going to give you a good idea on what a day-to-day -day pitching routine will look like. So each day, whatever you're doing, it's going to start with a daily warm-up routine. Um, we at our facility implemented the dynamic warm-up that Zach Deschant of TCU, he's their strength coach, implemented. And uh, I'm going to just click on this real quick and show you that the book that we really like is called The Movement Over Maxes. And so this may be a good investment because it really teaches you how to move well first, how to uh, implement a really, um, really detailed dynamic warm up. And so there's even videos that come through all this. So I am plugging uh, Zach. I don't have any uh, benefit uh, to this, just the fact that this is good stuff. So uh, consider that as far as uh, a warm-up routine. And uh, then we really like the shoulder tube, and that's something that you can order on Amazon at this point. Uh, wrist weights are really great. We've found that five pounds per wrist are great for uh, activating and mobilizing the arm and shoulder. And yesterday we went through plyo work and some of the drills that could be done with that. Again, if it's a warm-up, 80% or less is ideal. And then hopefully we can get a partner. We can get outside and do some catch play. One thing that I like in catch play is try to hit a target every single time. So move the partner around. Uh, just really focus on throwing the ball through that target. And then we could bring that partner up and go down into a catcher position at 50, 60 feet, no matter what distance you want to work, and uh, spin every off-speed pitch and uh, just do some command work on a daily basis. So in this routine, there's nothing that is – high intent, so this could be done multiple days a week, and just one example of a routine that could be done at home. If you don't have the equipment, that's okay, just do, do what you can. Um, as far as a schedule, here is kind of a three-week schedule. This was originally built for pitchers who were starting the season. As you can see on Monday, uh, a 15-pitch pen would be a start, and then the next day would be recovery. Since it's only 15 pitches, we'd come right back up on Wednesday. On Thursday, we'd work on some PFP holding runners. Uh, we talked about the holding runners sequence yesterday. Uh, then on Friday, we build up to 30, do recovery, and then take Sunday off. So uh, if you are, you know, no, your arm is not built up, that's a great thing to do. But most players right now are probably more on uh, the week three organization. So week three, we have a 45 pitch pen, then recovery. Then we want to work in some long toss here um, and continue working on the skill of uh, PFP and holding runners and things like that. So uh, this is a nice example of all of the different pitching activities and skill activities uh, you could work in. Maybe you replace a pen day with a long toss or a high intent day. That's okay too. And uh, it just gives a nice outline on what you can do at home. And then as far as bullpen goals, when you do throw a bullpen, hopefully you can grab a catcher, we want to set goals first. You know, 60% strikes is a good start. We want to work on spinning the breaking ball down and then really executing those 0-2 pitches. I like to organize bullpens by innings, so 15 pitches, then take a break. If you have those goals, you want to chart what's important. So maybe mom or dad could sit there and chart for you, and that would be a good thing to be able to analyze those results when you're done. If possible, make it competitive. Uh, we may not have a hitter to stand in live, but that's okay. And then we want that 100% focus on those bullpens. As far as what recovery might look like, we went over recovery on the other screen. Uh, J-bands are a great tool for not only warm-up and recovery. Um, Job exercises, a lot of people are familiar with those. All you need is a five-pound dumbbell. Uh, plyo rebounders, if you have a trampoline and plyo balls, uh, those are great activities. Again, you could Google all of, all of these activities that they would come up. Uh, waiter walks, if you have a kettlebell. Uh, band pull aparts those can be done with any band a j band works we don't want to forget about lower half and core training and then our cardio and sprint work so all of those can be done the day after throwing and get a great routine in on those throwing days here's an example this can just be found online all of the exercises that you can do with a j band or really any band so hopefully this helps you as you continue your at home routine and, and building the activities that you'll do at home. Hopefully we can get back out in the field soon, but in the meantime, these routines will help you stay in shape 
and get ready for the season whenever it starts.